Congratulations on your new position at Universal Dial-Up. We're glad you're here. We hope you stay with us for quite a while because Dial-Up is the future of internet. Here in a moment, you're going to meet Dave. Dave is a veteran at the call center and he's going to walk you through a few examples. In this first example, Dave is going to get involved in something called chitter chatter, which is a slang term for a personal phone call. You'll notice how unprofessional Dave sounds. It sounds like he's talking to an old friend and not a customer in need of help. Here, take a listen. Why, thank you for calling Universal Dial-Up. This is Dave. How may I assist you today? Hello. Yeah, you say your name is Dave, huh? Well, that should be easy to remember. I have a grandson named Dave. Oh, wow. Very cool. That's very cool. Yeah, he's in the third grade this year, and he signed up for football as well. Oh, my goodness. You must be very proud. Very proud. Um, and what's the name on the account? The name is Mark Jones. That's J-O-N-E-S. Okay, I'm pulling that up right now. It may take me a moment. The computer's going slow. It's, it's on dial-up. No problem at all. I'm in no hurry. I'm enjoying this nice weather. Why, it's supposed to be nice all weekend, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's very nice out. In the 70s, that's what they're saying all weekend. Oh, good. I think I'll be doing some fishing this weekend. Yep. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll probably be doing the same. Uh, anywho, what seems to be the issue today? I'm going to stop the phone call right there. Did you notice we're a couple minutes into it? And we still don't know what the customer's problem is. This sounded less like a business call and more like a personal call or chitter chatter, which is against company policy. You can be wrote up or terminated for these kind of phone calls. It is not fair to other customers who are waiting on the phone while we talk about personal things like family members and the weather. It's just not right. And we need to move it along a little more quickly. Listen to this next example. David gets right down to the point, and he lets the customer know that personal calls are not tolerated here at Universal Dial-Up. Universal Dial-Up, this is Dave. Yellow. Well, you say your name is Dave, huh? Well, that should be easy to remember. My grandson's name is Dave. Oh, great. And is the accountant his name? Well, no. The account's in my name. It's Mark Jones. That's... J-O-N-E-S. Well, then I don't need to know your grandson's name. I'm pulling up your account now. Well, I'm in no hurry. Just enjoying this weather. It's supposed to be nice all weekend, isn't it? Sir, I'm a service technician. I'm not a meteorologist, so I'm not sure. Anywho, I got the account up. What seems to be your problem? Oh, that's okay, Dave. I, I understand. Well, every time I try to dial in, it says the number is invalid. Why, well, I think the modem has gone bad. You think the modem is bad? Why, are you an expert in this field? Why are you calling me? This makes no sense. Well, no, uh, I'm not. That's, that's why I'm calling in to you. Hopefully you can help me out. Well, then why don't you shut it then? Because I am a semi-professional and I do know what I'm talking about. What phone number are you dialing into? The number I'm calling is 555 five, five, one, two, three, four. Why, there's your problem right there. You forgot the area code, uh, 444. Uh, your modem's fine. You see, I saved you a bunch of money because I am a semi-professional. Okay? Do you understand? Great job, Dave. Did you hear how he handled that situation? He told the customer up front he's not a meteorologist. He doesn't need to know the grandson's name. All he needs is the account number and the problem. Very semi-professional. I hope you learn from these examples. And you follow Dave's advice and you get to the point and quickly resolve the customer's issue. Because that is what we are all about here at Universal Dialogue. Thank you.